What up, Manos? Your boy Shock360 from Manos.com, and here we go with the MUT tournament. Uh, this tournament was hosted by Man and Turf, which was really neat. Uh, you know, I have never played an MUT tournament. This is my first MUT tournament. I'm already in the semifinals of this tournament. I beat my opponent, uh, which I'm not. I look at this. He got so lucky right here, bro. I was just juking, ready to fall down on the floor, and I fumble. I can't believe it, bro. Like, damn, he was he was so lucky in this play. And, but I got to hold them anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna play a good defensive game. This is the best defensive game I played uh, in the longest time where, you know, none of us get to score, you know, it's just all defense, guys. So uh, here we go. Uh, one of the things my offense is starting off good, my running back is stepping it up, but I think I need a little bit more speed at the running back position, and I think I need more speed at the quarterback position. So, with that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and trade. Clowny, I got an 80 overall, 81 overall Clowny that I would like to trade for a mobile quarterback and a faster running back. For example, you guys got Jamal Charles, an 81 overall Jamal Charles. I'll go ahead and trade Clowny for that. Or you have an extra uh, Charles, uh, let me know, man. Maybe we could do like a trade or I hook you guys up with a player or two. But uh, go ahead and let me know here in the comment section because I do need more of a mobile quarterback. Flacco can't move, man. Uh, there's times that where I could have just ran with a QB this guy is jogging on the field <laughs> you know it's really hard to get uh, moving when uh, you got you need actually uh, you know some uh, some fast players in those positions I'm saying here the a gap I mean I'm just locking him up really good man as you guys can see here it's like 30 22 he does a little screen but right there we stop and we tackle him down he decides to go for it look at this he decides to go for it, 4th and 6, we're going to go ahead and wait in the middle of the field, and there we strip him. Alright, I was pressing the strip button, that's what he missed it, man. He didn't get to catch the ball. So here we go, moving the ball really good, and right there, uh, Rainey is good, man, and my other Murray is good, but for some reason, sometimes they just get tired, and right here, man, this stupid blitz, I can't, can't shake it off, man. Uh, every time I was trying to, sh uh, I was trying to pass, I couldn't pass. He was sending that blitz off the edge. That's a really good blitz. I think that's off of Nickel. And there, okay, there we go. He throws a pick, trying to go deep. And we're up in this game, 63. I think he receives. Now, like I said, I was trying to shake off that blitz, and I couldn't shake it off to save my life, man. And uh, on the pass, so I had to really go quick pass and just go run, run, run. Look at like that. He's also three for seven, so he's having a hard time passing the ball. There we go. And how? How does he run the ball with him, man? There's no way. I had him in contains. How did, how did my defensive ends did not uh, react to that? So here we go. Lurk in the middle of the field. So here we go, guys. And we're right here trying to strip him as much as we can. Third quarter, one minute left. He tries to run the ball down the middle. I think we both need uh, like a faster running back and a faster quarterback because I didn't feel him as fast either. You know, he was having a hard time moving the ball as well. He comes out on the screen. Nope, everything's locked down right there on the left side of the field. We lurk in the middle of the field. We got stuck actually in the defensive end. Give me that. Yes, we get the ball back. So I have an opportunity right here to score once again. And just, uh, you know, probably clock him a little bit there. But I'm going to go ahead and come on and some, some play action wide receiver in. Trying to get that rocket catch to work, man. It's not working for me today. For some reason, I was just not uh, timing it right. Uh, I was just a little bit off. So here we go. Gonna go ahead and this time block a couple of players. I just over. I just, I just got afraid there or something. I got scared of the blitz or something. I just threw it down the middle of the field for no reason. So here we go. We gotta lock this guy up, <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and try to stop him here, because if not, we're gonna lose the game. And we got he's wasting clock. That's the thing right there. So we stop him on fourth and inches. We go for it again, and there we go. We stop him. We got one minute left, and I'm thinking, damn, I got the game one. Third and eleven. We got 21 seconds left in the game. Here we go. All we have to do now is just tackle him inbounds, man. And we're pretty much set. He's going to have a hard time kicking that field goal. Got 12 seconds left in the clock. There we go. I call a perfect play on defense. We try to get him there. And my defender just pushes him out of bounds. He's stupid. Cornerback. Come on, bro. 
Man, I can't believe he pushed him out of bounds. So we're going to go ahead and go into overtime. 6-6 six, six in this game. He has a ball first. I know I could lock him up, and I'm pretty sure he knows that I could lock him up too. So he just uh, doesn't want to make any mistakes. And there we go. He's getting close to field goal range. And he stopped him right there. And we got two minutes left in overtime over here. And he is going to go ahead and throw it right there. I read him all the way, bro. He forced it. He just did it. He got desperate. He didn't see anybody. He didn't want to get sacked there. And he threw, which was really smart. Man, that, that was so stupid of me. And I'm still talking about the last uh, play, man. I can't believe it, man, that he, he got in there. But here we go. Passing the ball. Can't shake it off this blitz. I can't shake it off, man. I'm having a hard time. Shaking out this blitz, so I'm gonna go ahead and rock it, and I don't get it, bro. He has tall corners, so it's really hard to do it against tall corners, and uh, that's pretty much it right here, man. He kicks it off uh, for a field goal, so we did have a chance on defense, guys. It was a great defensive end, good game show biz. We'll see you next time. Let's see what happens, bro. Until later, your boy Shaka Chase from Madison.com, guys. You guys want to trade that clowny for a mobile quarterback or running back? Go ahead and hit me up here in the comment section. Later, your boy Shaka Chase from Madison.com. Bye. Oh, <laughs>